All right, this one's gonna be on the whisker menu, which is a good replacement to the uh, traditional one. So this one, it has the search option here, which is uh, that's the improvement in my opinion. Uh, you can search for your application real quick. So let's say I search for a mouse pad. I can open that, um, you know, or let's say uh, Libre Office Writer or something like that. Opens that real quick, right? Uh, so you can launch your application, you know, with this menu uh, quickly, as opposed to the traditional one, which I think is fast, but it doesn't have that search option, which uh, makes it slow now because, you know, you don't want to browse through your categories and look for your applications, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so that's the improvement there. Anyways, how do you install this and all that? Just go into your package manager and search for Whisker. If I spell it right. right. And um, what they call it, your package manager, your software center, your app store, whatever the fuck they call it on your distribution, just go in one of those uh, applications and search for XFC4 uh, Whisker Menu. And they have this package here, XFC4 Whisker Menu Plugins, right? Um, even though it says XFC4, I believe you can work on other GTK based uh, distributions uh, that has, you know, your, your panel that you can add to it. Anyways, uh, after you install it, how do you add it to uh, our XFC panel here? All you gotta do is right click on here um, and go to panel, add new items, and just filter this out by whisker menu, right? And this is uh, our, um, you know, plugin here. So the way to add to your menu here is just drag and drop it if you want. Right, or you click on add here, um, it'll add it to your right side here, and you right click on here and you click on move, and you can move it around if you want. Right, so this we have two here already. So if you want to remove it, right click, remove, remove that sucker, remove this dumb thing because we already have it here. Um, so what options they have in here? So basically, your categories, um, like your games here. And then they have your programs over here, right? So your categories and your applications over here. Down here, they have uh, your settings, uh, your lock screen, your switch user, and this is your logout or power options that you can, you know, shut down and all that. Um, obviously, this one is your search bar, which I already show you. Anyways, other options they have in here, if you right click on that icon, you'll go to properties. And here you can actually make the icons bigger or smaller depending on, you know, how blind you are or whatever. Um, other stuff you can do is if you want the search menu to be up top or, you know, some other position, you can do it here. And now this one is on top here, right? Um, as far as the behavior, I like this option where you switch the categories by hovering over it. Otherwise, by default, you actually have to click on each category, clicking like this, which is a waste of fucking time. So I recommend you check this box and you just hover over it and it will just change the categories and your application will show up on you know your left side here and all that. Um, that's about it for, for that. And I do have this search uh, action, which is pretty cool because it actually extends the uh, capabilities of the menu. Uh, because most of the menu like this, like in Windows 7 or I think Cinnamon and all these other ones, they don't actually allow you to add your own commands to it, which this one does. So, I mean, I say basic commands that you can do. Like this one they have by default is the man page. If you uh, enter in the pound sign and in the application uh, name, and you can actually open up the man page. Not that difficult, but let me give you an example. So this is the whisker menu here. If you hit type in a pound sign, and let's say I want to open up a, what is that, nano or something, right? I want the man page for nano, and there you go, where you can read the man page for nano. Not that hard. Uh, they do have one for Wikipedia. So this one, Wikipedia, I just do a pound, I mean not pound sign, exclamation mark and W. So if I do explanation mark W and I search for, let's say XFCE, then I open up with my default web browser here, right? So on and so forth. This run in terminal here, I think this one is, um, 
uh, I wouldn't recommend this one for this one because it will execute the command and it will close the program or it'll close the terminal right away so this one is fucking useless if you want to use this just open up a terminal and do it from there okay I don't know why they have it here uh, this one is just open up a URL so if it starts with HTTP or HTTPS or file then it'll open up your you know your web browser let me give you an example of that if I uh, copy this link here and if I open up my uh, whisker menu and I just paste in a link or something like that then I'll open up you know with your web browser kind of useless because you can just open your web browser and do that uh, you can actually add your own so let's say it is Wikipedia here if you want to add another one um, all you gotta do is just copy this command here at the bottom and let's say we add another one here this one we're gonna do for YouTube all right so we're just gonna call it YouTube and we'll do a explanation mark YT how about that for YouTube paste in this command here so the only thing you have to change is the Wikipedia link right so what we're gonna do is go to YouTube here and let's just search for uh, my name and my channel here and so let's copy this thing here copy the URL up top here and all you gotta do is go back in here and paste this in all right paste so the only thing you have to change is the, our keyword which is uh, this part here and just add a uh, percent u and that will be our keyword when we're searching all right and that's pretty much it so now if you hit the uh, you know you open your whisker menu and you do exclamation mark yt and it says youtube and i usually like to search for a tiny house because i really want to buy a tiny house um so there you go that's how you search for that or what was that another one give me an example minimalism and there you go you can search for anything you want um, using your prefix searches right that'll be it for that other stuff you can do or other stuff I recommend you do if you're on uh, XFC and you want to bind it to your, your super key aka your Windows key so you can actually open it real quick you know like this you just hit the super key and it'll open it real quick and you can search for it kind of like what they have in Windows 7 and I think cinnamon and some other uh, and the Ubuntu's too I believe they have that uh, where you hit your super key and you bust out you know your search option for launching your application you can do that in here too all you gotta do is open up um, what is that your keyboard um, program here and this should have a application shortcut on XFC here so all you gotta do is add uh, this one here right the give you this here it will just say XFC for pop-up whisker menu let me copy it as you can see here so this is what you should type into your what the hell make this bigger where's the fonts action actually let me just paste in my terminal I don't have time for this right now so it should say something like this um, XFC for pop-up whisker menu right that's what you should uh, copy and then paste it into here uh, so I'm giving you another example here if I delete this one here remove that we'll add another one here we'll paste in that command and we'll hit OK and it will ask you uh, what shortcut you want to use just hit your Windows key aka your super key and I'll say super L here and that's it right and then when now you hit your hotkey you do this and then you just type in LibreOffice or something like that uh, writer and then you open up real quick anyways that's how you bind the hotkeys to uh, super uh, your super key uh, so if you didn't know about this uh, whisker menu before it's a good replacement to the traditional one so check that out so that'll be it for this one